And good morning, it's your friendly neighborhood Toronan. As promised, this is the MA209. Uh, I believe this is the ME209 V6. Um, this is a mythical aircraft. It never got out of prototype. Uh, you can tell now with the upgrades that we're doing 472. We are we have the upgraded airframe. We have the upgraded uh, pair of cannons. And it came with this right up the mark. So I'm not quite sure what the difference of these are. This is the heavy and these are shorts. So a shorter barrel. Hits a little less hard. You can see the 220s right here at the wing root. And the other one will be firing through the uh, motor cannon where they lay the uh, uh, barrel right down the valley of the V12 DB10605 uh, is what it would be. Uh, Dalmer Benz engine. And then the actual cannon mechanism would be back in here. All right, so we're going to go see how this actually does uh, with the uh, with the engine upgrade, and we'll take it from there. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Um, this was the doggiest aircraft. I'd, uh, I'm not going to say it was the horrible aircraft I purchased because it wasn't, but I don't like fighters that don't have enough firepower to get the job done. Don't get me wrong, they don't have to be J7W1s uh, with 880 uh, damage per second or something to make me happy, but uh, you don't ever want to feel like you're camping out on somebody's tail to uh, kill them. And when I first got the aircraft, I uh, actually got behind a uh, P-1054, uh, I believe it was. And the guy couldn't get away from me. And I chased that guy all the way across the map. Then he showed back up, attacked me again. I guess he was mad. And I chased him across the map and killed him again. And then the next game, I got behind another aircraft uh, jet and it was the same thing because you had the two uh, 13 millimeters that you might as well say they're 50 calibers uh, us 50 caliber is 12.7 millimeters the soviet union uh, actually has a 12.7 and the germans were 13 millimeter and i don't think you could tell the difference between them but regardless it wasn't enough and i thought the p51 H with the original armament of uh, the unimproved six cannons was bad. And uh, this was worse. <laughs> okay, some things about the aircraft. It has a uh, altitude of 8,200 feet. So it is a P-51 competitor. Uh, P-51H is going to come in about uh, 486 unimproved. Uh, the... Uh, and a 10 second circle, turning circle, this is going to come in at 8,200 feet with a 10 second turning circle. Okay. So it was designed, obviously, as a direct competitor to the P-51H at this tier. And for those who haven't caught my earlier in, uh, uh, videos on the 209 there were actually two separate versions of that aircraft and one of them was the oh, it's just dumb sorry um i am not going to get in the middle of an air base until we capture the uh, command base just not a bright thing to do goes squabble with fighters instead of win the game, right? And you'll see it every time you turn around. Okay, as per the previous videos, the 320s work out pretty well on this.
And then you can use your engine to come around a little bit and engine boost. Try not to run into the radar. I'm notorious for running into things and then crying about it. Like the adult that I truly am. And that's it. Okay, now we're done. And we're low. Alright, so you have a high altitude aircraft, so that means you should immediately go in low and slow, right? Um, no, you should not. So get yourself up to some altitude where you can actually, are supposed to fight and other aircraft start slowing down and make use of it. Here's a Spitfire way over where he should be. Okay. We'll certainly take advantage of it. I don't care how turny you are, if you get enough. The guy was at 9,000 feet. That's not good. You're not going to survive very long at that altitude. When you... I think if I remember right, the last time I played it, the altitude on that thing is about 4,500 feet. Alright, there is an XF-5U. No other people's opinion of that plane are, but mine are pretty spectacular. This thing is a killer. And that is because it has a pair or quad actually of M39 cannons on it. It also has about 600 set points, 650 to fully upgraded if you don't put a heavy airframe on it and have even more. And so what does that mean? Well, the M39 is a revolver cannon. I have a correction to make. I made a mistake. The M39 actually was gas actuated. And it was the Air Force's preferred gun right up until it got to uh, the M61 uh, Gatling. And it is called the Gatling because it actually arose out of something called Project Vulcan. So you'll hear it sometimes referred to as the Vulcan. Um, the command centers are ours, awaiting help from the front headquarters. It is not, however, um, but it's uh, a lot of its principles came directly from Dr. Gatling's Gatling gun. And he uh, and that became the, the primary and still the primary gun on a lot of aircraft today. If it's not the M61 itself, it is a uh, predecessor directly related to it. Oh, this fellow is being a real jerk. And now he's finding out that I can outmaneuver him. And the reason that I out, I'm outmaneuvering him is because I am using flaps. And he's too dumb to know it. Now you don't want to keep your flaps on for obvious reasons. But when you get into a turn and burn contest with an idiot, it's a great time to use them. That's a TA-152, pretty quick, and I just outraced him. You have to be careful about that, it's a great way to end up dead. consistently not racing them. So 
I'm not going to be out racing him. At least I shouldn't be. And if you're wondering what the pauses are about, it's me letting my gun cool back down. see on the lower left screen how quick these guns heat up. And instead of doing what he should do, which is go into a dive and simply power away from me, he continues to maneuver. Okay, so not a bad outing. Um, this is an aircraft I think you're really going to enjoy as you begin to level it up with the proviso that you understand that when you come in you get two BBs and an automatic 22 machine gun. Joking, but feels like that. I remember when I got, first got the JU-87 with a pair of 20 millimeter guns and realized that I couldn't uh, penetrate any armored targets and I had no other way to affect the ground game <laughs> and that's about what it felt like okay we destroyed eight targets we did that on our own with nothing else let's go to um, go to the summary here um, got a decent amount of points decent amount of experience and almost 200 points of free uh, experience as well team score came in number two and the RB-17 beat me. And it looks like the other team had a pretty bad day. All right. So, there you go. This is uh, turning out to be quite the aircraft. <clears throat> uh, you should have fun hunting uh, just about anything in it. Uh, the jets are still going to give you a bad time. There's no getting around that, and there never will be. That's just one of the things you're going to have to deal with when you get uh, to tier 8. You're going to see a lot of the uh, MA-262s. Uh, that's everybody's seal clubber and boom and zoomer. And a lot of robots have it too. Um, and anytime you get multiples of boomer zoomers that have an, an altitude and speed advantage, they'll start crisscrossing back and forth. Uh, so if you chase one, the other one will shoot you down. Um, Awfully hard tactic to beat. So be prepared for that. You, uh, This is a good aircraft, especially as you continue to upgrade it. Uh, my next upgrades on this are going to be the 30 millimeter cannon. Um, we've got about 9,000 to go on that one. Uh, the original cost is 22,300 for research. Um, and then you're going to go to this monster. And as you know, if you saw the last video, the difference between this and this is this is a much, I'm going to guess they upgraded the cartridge on this because this thing is hitting at 3,100 feet. This one's barely reaching uh, 2,021 feet. So you get a very long um, increase in the firing range, which will be nice, but here's the downside of it you'll notice the damage per shot goes down to 140 and you're going to notice that the rate of fire goes down to 60 rounds per minute so um, it'll be interesting to see those as we get those aircraft uh, get those uh, aircraft armaments I have not a clue what they're going to be like well this one I do this is the same thing that you see on the BF 109G which is a low-velocity uh, aircraft that fires a mine shell. And then this, I'm going to guarantee, you could not have carried nearly as much explosive because it's hurtling outward at a uh, speed that is just short of stripping out the rifling. That's going to be interesting. Um, but it'll be interesting to mark the effects. It'll give us something to look forward to. And until then, remember to like the video and to subscribe. Boy, do I need subscribers. Listen, folks, this is your friendly neighborhood Toronan, and I'm out.